One quick thing. I, um, I texted Travis uh, before tonight and uh, asked if he had any words of advice. This is a real text message. And he told me to drink just enough, but not too much. <laughs> no, it's not happening. Uh, try to think of one joke or thing to say after each presentation. <laughs> hmm. uh, put people at ease. Tell the presenters and the crowd that everyone is on the same side. That's a, that's a good one. Uh, there is an accepted social contract uh, in performing where if someone is saying something that you find funny or that you appreciate that you laugh or clap. You guys get that? Yeah, all right. Uh, and he said, if all that fails, drop my pants. I'm not laughing. That's not happening. Let's just call the next presenter, Sabrina. As some of you might know, I own a yarn company. I hand dye yarn, and that takes me all over the country. Um, this is a yarn shop just outside of Sacramento, and one day right after Easter, they came to open their shop and found that it had been yarn bombed. I wholeheartedly support yarn bombing, and um, just this summer, we, we being um, Kim Burley, you may know her, you may not, and I um, traveled across the country to uh, Columbus, Ohio. We were also in Ohio. And um, our first stop was Las Vegas because we had a few meetings and we stayed at that place. Um, this is somewhere between Las Vegas and Salt Lake City. And I decided to teach um, Kim Burley how to knit. We didn't have a whole lot of time um, to stop. So I decided uh, to teach her while I'm driving. Um, on our way, we stopped at one of our mills, which is one, in one of the secret mountain states, and they have alpacas. Uh, I met with this mill in early spring, and we designed some yarns, and um, on this trip, we showcased seven of them. Um, that, alpaca, that baby alpaca was actually just born. Um, Burley and I, traveled across like the middle north part of America and this is a come and go. There's a lot of come and goes and we did that often. So this is one of her favorite pictures I think. So the previous year Jessica and I drove across the country and had some awful awful, awful storms and this is one of the very minor storms that we had. Um, this is I think just outside of Iowa um, that one night, it was like, just bright as all get out, and then all of a sudden it was dark. Um, once we got to uh, Ohio, there is a market right across from uh, the convention center, that's the North Market. Anybody here ever been to the market in Emeryville that has all these different restaurants in it? Well, this place is just like it, and has the best ice cream in the world. Um, if you've ever had Jenny's ice cream, oh my god eat it. So um, this is our, our booth. We meet with lots of yarn shop owners from all over the country and even Canada um, and take lots and lots of orders. So those pink and grays are our new colorways. When we left Ohio, we needed to get to Denver as quickly as possible, which isn't that quick. Um, I think we made it in two days. But um, our first stop was in Kansas. And um, we were hoping to make it to Kansas City, which is actually in Missouri and Kansas. And um, while we're driving through Kansas, we saw the Oz wineries. And some of my dearly beloved friends are the Oz's. And so this isn't because of that one movie talking about Oz. This is because I love the Oz's. Anyways, um, so Kansas is really flat. And it goes on and on forever. And we started to get a little dreary. So we took a happy picture of my sock that I was knitting. And we were hoping it would be inspiring. It wasn't. <laughs> so we just kept driving and driving. A lot of middle America is really flat. And then we saw the light. And we hoped that meant we were almost to the outside of, Can of Kansas, which is actually uh, uh, Colorado. Would you, did you know Kansas and Colorado are actually right next to each other? Anyways. <laughs> Once we 
got to Denver, I saw the most fabulous shoes. Um, there's a girl on Twitter, her name is Princess something or other, Princess 56 or something, I don't know the last numbers. Anyways, her name's Lenore. I love Lenore, and Lenore loves shoes. So I took this picture for her and tweeted about it, and then we got to Vail. Have you ever been to Vail? Vail's weird. <laughs> Um, there were a lot of white people <laughs> and a lot of meals that were like always like nothing below like $29. So um, we got some appetizers and then we were eating coffee. Did you know there's like almost no coffee in middle America? There's Starbucks, but they all close early. And so it's four o'clock in Vail. At four o'clock you should think you could get, get coffee. But um, she tried to ask this ski trooper who wasn't real, where the coffee was, and there was no coffee. We drove around forever trying to find coffee. We finally found some and they were closed. Um, so then, I have a little tiny truck. Have you seen my truck? I don't know. It's tiny. It's a Chevy S10. And three of us drive all over the country in this truck. And um, we're, we kind of like each other, which is l lovely. And then, um, the girls, this is Chiva, Loka, and Kim Burley. I don't know if you know them, but I heart them very much. Chiva, when she drinks, she always looks into her cup. When Burley drinks, she always looks up. So I told them this, and they tried to do the opposite and almost choked to death. <laughs> so on that road trip, we were actually going to Portland, and we were going to the Sox Summit. The summit about socks, yes. <laughs> and we sold lots and lots of yarn and had a fabulous time. And this is just after we finished setting up. We actually just got back from another road trip to uh, Phoenix, Arizona. I don't recommend it. Um, Phoenix does have a light rail, which I love. Fresno needs one of those. And this is Chiva going with our luggage to the light rail. Surprisingly, she got no questions. Not one person asked her about that. So the golden rule about what I'm telling you is that life is better with yarn. If you can incorporate yarn into your life in any way, you'll be so much happier. So hope you enjoyed it. Onzul is my company. I love yarn. Uh, if you get a chance to go and uh, see and touch some of the yarn, it's a um, religious experience of softness. This is a, I should be sharing this with you. It feels way too personal. I'm gonna stop talking about yarn now.